wanted to learn that. And I wanted to move on to this next side of the house. So this next side of the house is reverse engineering. Any of you guys ever heard of the concept of reverse engineering? Anybody? No one's heard of reverse engineering. Okay, that's awesome. Okay guys, reverse engineering is a security task. You take something and we look at it, we break it apart and we try to figure out how it works. Were any of you a bad kid? Who was a bad kid? Bad kid? Were any of you the type who took apart your parents' radio or TV? Okay, you're a reverse engineer. If you were the type of person who liked to break stuff open and look at it and drive your parents crazy, come on, where's my people? Where's my people? Yes, you too can be a hacker. Now, one of, one of these things I've learned in Asian cultures, uh, you guys beat your children. So I guess you don't have as much of that creative ripping stuff apart like we do in America. Because you go to jail if you beat your children in America. Right? You beat your children in America, you're going to jail. I guess over here it's okay. Do you beat your children? Who beats their children? Oh, you don't want to admit it? You act like there's cameras in the room or something. Okay. Now, reverse engineering, the goal is to break something apart. So what I did is uh, I got a little virtual machine here and I wanted to show you guys a little executable. Uh oh. Oh, it's over there. Dang. It like moved on me. That's really reverse engineering. Trying to figure out where the hell it went. Okay, so let's minimize that. We have some source code. So now that we've got said source code, Source code is easy. Now, how many of you look at code and want to vomit? Anybody? You guys love the code. Everybody loves the code? Don't lie to me. Come on, please. How many of you look at code and immediately become nauseous? Okay, there you go. There's my people. Me too. Me too. I can't stand code. That's why I do security. I get to talk about it. I don't have to do it. Okay, so now let's look at this code up here. Now, you're going to see here's the important part. Define password is what? Okay, a little louder, people. Okay, so that's the password. Now what we're gonna say is, okay, int main, we'll make a quick pointer, we're gonna allocate 100 bytes, and now, please enter your password. Now he's gonna compare, string compare, pass, with password. Now if they equate to zero, that means they match. If they equate to one, that means what? They don't match. So if they match, it's going to tell you what? Congratulations, correct pass. If they don't match, it's going to give you the finger, yeah? That's a technical term. Give you the finger? That's a technical term. Okay. I'm serious. It's a technical term. Okay. So now you're looking at this source code and you're going, okay, well, that was really boring. Now, in my line of work, I don't get very much source code. I usually get source code maybe two to three times a year. The entire rest of the time, this customer says, hey Joe, we wrote this software. Can you look at it? And I'm kind of like, okay, can you pay me? Customer's like, yeah. I'm like, cool, I'll look at it. So, let's say we have this software. We're gonna open up the command prompt. And let's quit screen to, to the desktop. And we're going to run password.exe. Now you notice password.exe prompts for a what? Password. Password. There you go. Now we get to write, teach me how to ducky. And that bad boy told us what? Damn. Damn, that's frustrating. Now, how many of you, how many of you pirate software? Anybody? <laughs> what? This is a security conference, can't we? We're family. <laughs> I've known you guys for a long time. Can't we talk about this kind of stuff? Okay, so let's just say you don't feel like paying for some software. For academic purposes. <laughs> right? Right? Right, right. Remember, we don't inhale. We're Americans. 
right? We're talking academic purposes, right? Okay, well, one of the things that we could do is we could take said software and we can open up a hex editor. So I'll crack open a hex editor and I'll go, wow, that hex editor is really impressive. Everybody go, ooh. ooh. See, I knew that you'd be impressed by my hex. Check that out. <laughs> I knew you were impressed. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, now we've got our hex editor. I'm going to grab password.exe, the compiled program. Here's password.exe, and I drag it into my hex editor. Everybody? Ah. Okay, I know you're impressed. This is impressive stuff. Now, what you do is you look in your hex editor, and now you say, all right, hex, why don't you find me? Let's look for the word correct. Because you remember how it would tell us correct password? Okay, so we're just gonna look for the word correct. And it's, hey, check that out, isn't that amazing? It found the word correct. And it's human readable, ASCII. <coughs> now, look what's below correct. You guys see that? What's in here? No way. Are you trying to tell me that you can actually take an executable and sometimes get passwords and critical components of the application by just looking at the hex? Like, no way. Everybody, no way. No way. <laughs> right? You can do that. This is scary. This is, you're learning how to Dougie right now. Okay? You can grab an executable, toss it into a hex editor, start looking at the hex, and all of a sudden, you got the whole matrix thing going on, right? Come on, how many of you do that? When the customer walks by, you show something on your screen that looks real cool. So you like, well, no, look at what I'm doing. I'm doing some complicated stuff right here. <laughs> right? And then when they come by, you hit it again, right? And said, so is it just me who does that? <laughs> I probably shouldn't be telling you guys this. 